Hello everyone, this is Jake, and I haven't made a commentary video in a while, so I'm just going to make one because something happened to me today, and it's kind of hilarious at the same time, and I just hope you guys hear me out. And today I'm going to be playing this game. I haven't played this game in a while, so just enjoy the gameplay. Um, it's nothing related to what I'm going to talk about, but you know, I just had to play something in the background. It's the first thing I was able to find on my table, so I'll be playing this game. Anyway, um, and it's Vita game. So first of all, what I wanted to talk about is that it relates to Resident Evil 2, uh, Revelation 2. Um, which is coming out to PlayStation Vita tomorrow on PSN on to uh, North America region and it's a digital only title. It's already out on the EU right now so if you live in the EU region you can find it in the store and you can download it and buy it and yeah, same thing. Um, but um, the problem I ran into when I saw a decent amount of game footage, footage from off the YouTube and honestly from what I've seen game is not looking that great. Okay I'm not even going to talk about graphics. I'm here to talk about gameplay performance, you know. When I say performance, you know, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not going to mention anything about graphic. Graphic, I honestly think I can deal with it. Um, you know, it's, I'm compared to PS4 and the PS3 versions, so console version. Obviously, it has been downgra uh, downgraded. There's no lightning. Uh, there's barely any shadows. Um, basically, those are all gone. So those are gone as the uh, textures look you know pretty bad. Uh, let's not lie about that in overall. But I don't care about those things, you know. It's, it's a handheld game and port and the studio wasn't capable of, you know, dealing with you know third person shooter because all they done in the previous work is pretty much, you know, indie games like uh, 8 bit, 60 bit, whatever you want to call it. Those kind of types of games. Uh, that's all they have ported and created. Uh, for not even for like uh, they yeah, they indie games are what they're good with, I'm assuming. Cause that's all they've done, and what you know, like so Sony let those kind of handle you know this kind of major project in my opinion for Vita, cause you know Vita doesn't get this kind of game you know for a very long time. We haven't got one for a very long time. That's for true. Um, yeah. Uh, it's, I, can't, I can't say that game is a AAA quite title even on the PlayStation uh, 4, but um, you know it's a Resident Evil title and that's a big name. And you know, Vita haven't got any Resident Evil date games until now, and now the first Resident Evil game on the Vita is not looking good. And you know that's what makes me upset because you know Uni 13 Uncharted showed like the Vita can handle third-person shooter really, really well, and like in terms of frame rate. In terms of online, in terms of like gameplay, like it can totally handle it. And then we have Resident Evil 2 Revelation on Vita, which seems to have a lot of frame rate issues in my opinion, because every time zombies come at you and they try to eat your face, and the frame rate drops start happening. And you can you can find the videos and you can watch it, see. And I can't justify myself buying a digital only game off the PSN and deal with those problems. You know, I bought Borderlands 2. On PlayStation Vita, and it was not great. The performance—I'm not even talking about graphic here again. I'm talking about performance. Um, you know, I'm not expecting to have like 60 FPS. I don't even have PC, so I'm not expecting to have you know 60 FPS, 1080p, those kind of deal. You know, as long as the game you know looks like a Borderlands, which it did, and if the game runs at 30 FPS, just like the any shooter should be running at low minimum, I'll be fine with it. But it wasn't—it wasn't running at that frame rate, so. You know, why didn't they downgrade the graphic more for, you know, better performance, you know, it's a shooter, not a slideshow, you know, you should fight to some bosses in Borderlands 2 and like frame rate is like, dropping is like crazy there, like, you know, I beat the entire game, beat all the DLC bosses, you know, I went to treasure room, all the stuff, and, uh, you know, you know, let's stop talking Borderlands, but you get to my point, and Resident Evil 2 is another same scenario, and is happening again and I don't get it and people defend this crap that's what I'm mad about you know I don't get mad that easily you know especially on internet but you know when something I've been waiting for so long because I didn't purchase the PS4 version I played it you know like other people's copies because I was like oh yeah I'm just gonna wait for you know, Vita version because that's what I want I like playing those games on handheld because you know it was a the first re uh, revelation was on 3DS and I liked it on there much more than PS3 so I was like yeah I want to play the you know, uh, revelation 2 on Vita definitely when I heard of it so I was like yeah I'm gonna wait for that and all this time I waited now we are getting this kind of really piss poor quality board and people were just like oh yeah it looks great and stuff on the form and stuff and I'm just like sitting here I'm like Oh my god, like, what is going on? Our expectation that low, but yeah, that's pretty much about my rent. Um, I'm gonna make another video soon, but you know what? That's about it, this video, so let me know what you guys think. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Jake, and I'll see you guys next time with more videos. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.